Hello, we've just come back from a, a day out. We're all hot and sweaty. Tonight, it's the, well, I suppose the celebration, gala night, whatever you want to call it. It's called Dress to Impress Night. It is Dress to Impress, not Dress to Distress, as I thought it was. So This cruise, I haven't brought my black tux and black bow tie, which I've taken on previous cruises, because it's 2024. I'm young and vibrant. <laughs> So, and his belly's too big for it to fit in now. I've brought something else. <laughs> I've got my gownless evening straps that I'm going to wear tonight. So, anyway, give us five minutes. We're going to go and uh, freshen up and see if we uh, see if we can dress to impress. Okay, after Where, three. Where's my clean pants? One, One two, two, three. three. Oh, so. Are we dressed to impress? Uh, well, I think we've scooped up okay. Yeah, we've done, we'll do. we've done all right. So we'll, we'll go and see what everyone else is wearing. We'll go and have a nose, see if we're uh, underdressed or overdressed or, or, yeah. or what. Because we've got no idea, so come along with us and we'll have a look and see what everybody else is like. But at the end of the day, remember, it doesn't matter. As long no. as you feel comfortable, that's the main thing. Yeah, and there's no strict dress code tonight, so people can wear what they want, and it is about feeling comfortable, and if you like dressing up, great. If you don't, so what? Don't bother. Yeah. Wear your bikini and your shorts, you can go to the buffet. And if people are going to judge you, <laughs> just be guilty. <laughs> Living in a It is a lot less formal than other cruise lines we've been on. Some people have dressed up very smart, but a lot of people are in clothes that they've been wearing all week. It's the same menu at both main dining restaurants tonight. What I have noticed about Morella um, dress to impress night with their menu. It is very different to a P&O gala night menu. On P&O you get an amuse bouche and I think you get about five courses. Whereas this seems very much just like any other uh, evening meal menu that we've had. There doesn't seem any difference. There's not any extra courses. Um, the food looks very similar to what's been on the menu on previous days. So this is my main course. It is a butternut squash wellington. Let's have a look. It, it's buying. Um, it's not as good as Giles's um, vegan wellingtons that he makes, but it's edible, it's tasty, I can't complain, it's, yeah, it's fine. Here's my lobster souffle, let's see what this tastes like. It's pretty tasty, yeah, doesn't seem to be much of it, but for what it is, that, that seems alright. Happy with that. Well, what I've had so far has been very tasty, but I just don't think it's any different from any other night. It, it doesn't feel any different at all, whereas I know I keep going back to P&O, but on P&O you get a little, little invitation pushed push through your door. I've had a bit too many Proseccos. You get your invitation pushed through your door, and then you get like a free glass of bubbly in the atrium, and then you get all your courses. And it feels like a special evening, whereas this doesn't feel like a special evening. It just feels like any other evening. Harsh words there. My uh, lobster souffle was very tasty, very nice, but it wasn't quite enough to make it feel like a full meal. So unfortunately, I've had to order a dessert which is Crank Suzette, uh, which Lisa's had the same, and we've ordered a cheese board to share as well. So this is a nice little cheese platter. Happy with that? I'm going to try the coffee now. Let's just see if it's like dishwater or like proper coffee. It's just like warm water with foam in it. 
there's just no taste to a Morelli, you've got to do something about your coffee. It's a basic, you need to get this right. The entertainment is the same as any other evening of the cruise. If you don't like dressing up, Morello is a good cruise line to choose. The ABBA show was excellent. everyone tapping their feet and singing along. It is packed, but it's not uncomfortable. Yeah. It really is anything goes, clothes wise, on a dress to impress night. You know, I don't think I'm going to bring anything formal on my next Marella cruise. It's a bit later now and the atrium has a few tables to sit at. This guy is in his shorts. Actually, a lot of men have worn shorts tonight. Dressed to impress night, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Did it impress you? Yeah, it was all right. The food wasn't elevated to any particular standard, but the ABBA show was quite good. Mm, yeah, the show was really good tonight. That's been the best show we've seen so far. Yeah, it was a nice story of ABBA and their journey through the years and the divorces and everything. So it was nice. There was at least a little bit of a story to it because sometimes these show sort of cruise shows can be a little bit disjointed or just song after song after song with no meaning or context so mm. that, that was good mm. and there was some other entertainment going on that you saw the quiz the piano players the guitar players and it was all right i'd just say it was all right it hasn't blown me away or anything no no it's it's not it's not blown our socks off but we've had a really good night. Yeah. And we've yeah. had a really good day as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Where were we today? Penang, Penang. Island, <laughs> Georgetown. Penang, yeah. So we've got some more cruise related content coming up. Um, we're doing a cabin review of Discovery 2. We're doing a ship review. Yeah, we're also going to look at how you can get a premium experience on Discovery 2 by value cruising. So that's an interesting one. Subscribe and check us out for that one. You might be surprised at what we found out. Yeah. Look after the pennies, the pens will look after themselves. <laughs> you take care. Bye. Bye.